Floor plans are the easiest way to understand a design and that's why I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful floor plan render using Lumion. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. So I have this floor plan that I made in Revit for one of our projects and I'm going to use it for today's video. But you can use any software you like and feel comfortable with. The important thing is that you need to have your plan in 3D because Lumion is a 3D rendering software and make sure to separate the floor material from the walls etc. Before we start, we need to export our plan to an image that we are going to use later in this video. We are going to go to Files, Export, and we are going to go down to Images and Animations and click on Image. Now from here, I'm going to increase the quality of the image by increasing the pixels. You can adjust the rest of the settings however you like and after you're done, just click OK. And you should get something like this. So after we're done exporting our image, we need to go and open Lumion and we are going to create a new project. There are multiple choices to choose from, but I'm just going to go with this one. And once it's open, we're going to go back into Revit and we are going to use the Lumion Life Sync for Revit. Make sure the Life Sync settings are set to high. Now we are going to start the Lumion Life Sync. And it's going to import our project into Lumion. Now we are going to set our materials and furnitures, etc. I'll do that behind the scenes and get back to you. So this is what I managed to do. I added some lights, trees, furniture, accessories, and people to make the scene feel more alive and realistic. Lumion library includes a wide range of objects that you can choose from. So the first thing we need to do to render our plan is cut in our 3D model by going to utilities and choose clip plan and adding it wherever you want. After adding the clip plan, you should get something like this. So now the next step is adding effects to our render. So to add our plan view effect, simply go to effects and architectural and choose orthographic. Now click on 2D to switch to orthographic view. Now edit the effect to get your plan view right. Now we are going to go to custom style and choose realistic. So the first thing I'm going to edit here is the shadows. You want to make sure you don't have any dark shadows. You want soft light shadows to make the plan feel cool and nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sun effect because you don't want any low sun to make everything look dark. Now after I'm done editing the basics like the sun and lights effect, I'll be removing the effects that I don't need like the real sky effect. Now I'm going to increase the sharpness of the render because you want the furniture to have sharp edges to be more visible. And the last thing I'm going to edit is the color correction. And it depends mostly on personal choices, but you may want to increase the saturation to make the colors stand out more. And after you're done, you're gonna go ahead and simply click on render. And that's it. And you should get something more like this. And as you can see, it has a lot of colors and it's useful to understand the materials. And now the final step for this tutorial is Photoshop. What you need to do is you're gonna go and open your rendered plan in Photoshop. And we're going to use the lasso tool and select all the exterior walls in our plan. And after you're done, you're gonna hold Ctrl Shift I on your keyboard to reverse the selection. And now you wanna delete everything outside your plan. And now I'm just going to clean the parts that I don't need in my plan. And now after we're done, you're gonna go and open your 2D plan that we exported from Revit at the start of this video. We're gonna go and use the magic tool to select and delete the white background. Now just hold Alt on your keyboard and drag the plan to the other render. Now you wanna try and match their scale over each other we did this to make the plan stand out more and add more details and edges to the render like the opening doors and windows etc. And after you're done you should get this result. It's a very beautiful rendered plan with so much details and information and it's useful to understanding spaces and materials and overall distribution. Please let me know if you liked this tutorial and thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.